And a mysterious liquid found in Port Arthur has people in one neighborhood asking questions tonight. It's thought to be crude oil, but just where did it come from? And the discovery has left one Port Arthur man in limbo. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker exclusively spoke with the man and he shares his concerns tonight. The discovery of this crude oil has people living on Lincoln Avenue concerned and asking the major questions. Where did this oil come from? To me, like I said, I got to jump from hotel to hotel because the rates keep jumping up and down, up and down because it's the summer season. And What was supposed to be the start of construction for Leneth Gardner's new home has now turned into a nightmare. Crude oil was discovered when construction crews began digging eight foot holes. The black sludgy liquid had a pungent smell, forced Gardner to a hotel and he wants answers. They found the oil and they didn't really tell me nothing until the fire department came and uh, they said they found something and that's about all I heard. With nowhere to turn, he contacted Port Arthur activist Hilton Kelly, who is now pressing for answers. Smell the oil from the street and it's very toxic. Uh, if kids are breathing this, or uh, if any one of the neighbors are breathing this stuff, it can make you really nauseous. Now the TCEQ and Railroad Commission and City of Port Arthur are all looking into this mysterious oil. Port Arthur City Manager Ronald Burton tells 12 News no immediate hazard to local citizens has been identified, but not everyone is convinced. We are in hurricane season. If we get torrential rains and these holes start to fill up, then what's going to happen? We all know oil floats. This oil is going to float out into the street and just go going to go down the curb into the sewer line. As several state agencies continue to investigate, Gardner is left in limbo, wondering what's next. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with the homeowner at this particular point, but I do believe that our state and uh, federal government should work with this gentleman on being relocated if he chooses to do so. Construction has been put on pause and the TCEQ and other state organizations are working to find answers. In Port Arthur, Lori Walker, 12 News.